Hey y'all, once again, this is Porty1119 with Headframe Hunters with, uh, I I'm gonna go ahead and say this is the biggest fuster cluck that we've managed so far as evidenced by the fact that we have a one yard partially underwater. Uh, apparently the hydraulic cylinder bolts that hold the cylinder and the gland on uh, were either not torqued at all or they backed off and it allowed, uh, you can see the gap between the two halves right there. Uh, yeah, and that was the O-ring that sealed the cylinder. It sprayed out. This happened uh, about a week and a half, two weeks ago. It sprayed out and uh, coated the rib with hydraulic. So now we have the uh, enviable task of trying to take this apart because that pin back there is seized. Trying to uh, pop the cylinder apart, reseat the O-ring, torque the bejesus out of it, and see if we can get this machine to some place that is not under threat of flood. Okay, uh, that was more time than you would have thought. Um, had an issue with the with access to that uh, that lower left-hand corner bolt. Uh, I wasn't able to get an impact in there without a U-joint without uh, pulling the fuel cap guard. So I had to pull the fuel cap guard in order to swivel it out enough to not use the U-joint. Because as it turns out, the uh, the U-joint was uh, enough, it absorbed enough impact or enough hitting power from the impact so as to uh, be the difference between getting that last bolt out and uh, not. You can see this uh, this O-ring properly exploded. We're gonna put it in there as best we can. I'm not expecting much out of this, but if we can get it up to the hundred level laydown or muck bay where the air track drill is parked, that is a victory because the machine is no longer under threat of water. Well, I am reasonably confident that any hydraulics textbook ever will tell you to never do what I just did, but unfortunately it was required since the, uh, the cylinder bolt, or rather the, uh, the hole inside the cylinder body is totally stripped. It's going to need to be tapped, uh, possibly for a larger size bolt. So what I just did is I found a, an undersized bolt a washer to kind of distribute the force across the gland end and uh, a nut and I torqued it until first of all the, the bolt kind of bent a little bit but second more importantly the uh, cylinder halves made it together there's no gap compare that to uh, what it was like before we started and swapped out the, uh, the other side steering hose Uh, put the pins back in. All we gotta do is uh, snug the pin bolts up. Those don't need to be uh, Hulk tightened. And I guess we can put the uh, fuel cap guard back in. That just uses a pair of little uh, cotter pins to retain. Real simple. I have a feeling that the uh, amount of hydraulic oil on the, uh, on the rib there shows exactly how this went, but it got here. Actually got it further than uh, than we were afraid of. We were able to get her up to the cap mag. So water has never been up here ever, uh, even when not pumping for years. So the machine is uh, no longer in danger from water. So that's awesome. Um, that O-ring is definitely bad. You can see it was coming out from down around there. 
we had, we aimed the brake in the O-ring so that it wasn't spraying towards me, which was a risk, but it worked. Uh, so now we're going to uh, pull the front pin, pull the, the cylinder bolts, and uh, bag up the piston and the cylinder body, tighten it down with some zip ties or some twine just to prevent any kind of contamination from getting in, take the ram and the, uh, the bad bolts to hydraulic shop, and uh, go from there. We'll need to probably need to pick up a, a tap for whatever size that we go up to if we decide to decide to go up a size on the bolt because uh, I think there's too much damage in there to uh, get away with reusing the old hole unless we just go with uh, a longer bolt that's also a possibility to engage the, the threads further back yeah let's uh, get her taken apart get the components bagged up and uh, get some parts ordered well that is basically mission accomplished for the day got the uh, the piston pulled the cylinder bagged up that's rope around it to seal it a little bit better um, hoses are plugged with uh, just those little silicone cones we've got the the ram bagged up and we're gonna take that to a hydraulic shop get an o-ring ordered figure out what we want to do with that, uh, that screwed up back end of the cylinder that's going to have to be tapped or bored out or something and uh, it's not entirely sure how that happened to be honest but it did and we got to deal with it and that's mining our driller wasn't up there when that happened we told him about it he just laughs and says sounds like mining yeah, he's uh, he's got it right. Sure, our uh, key is out of the key switch. The, uh, the battery hot terminal is disconnected, just so the machine can sleep down here. It does have some parasitic draws I need to work off and uh, install a master switch uh, for the time being she can sit here for a bit all right folks we are now uh, back courtesy of our favorite folks from Michigan you know from a Notre Dame family that sentence sounds illegal uh, pillar manufacturing out of uh, Goebbels if y'all are looking for parts for obscure obsolete or otherwise unusual underground equipment give them a call they'll be happy to help you out so what we got here is a whole lot of damaged threads in this hole. They are damaged well beyond what a tap is going to be able to bring back. So we managed to track down some very long, overly long bolts. Going to try to use one of the bolts like a, like a tap. Well, I don't have an actual tap. Well, it's on order, but Amazon screwed up, so no tap. Try to use a consumable bolt. What I am hoping I will be able to do is uh, blow this out long enough to uh, allow the installation of a backing nut right about here, kind of like our uh, hillbilly fix that got this machine back up to this level in the first place. Put a backing nut on it, achieve proper clamping force that way, cross our fingers, hope that it all works. We get enough clamping force, throw the new O-ring on the piston, and uh, did I mention cross our fingers? The uh, new O-ring is set on the ram, got our uh, home ground backing nut right there. This is cut better, but a little bit of lubrication. And, you know, there ain't going to be any way that we can... Uh, really shoot seating the piston. So we'll see you in a moment. When the uh, the bolt is smoking, uh, torque is being applied. Engineering rule number 327. And uh, we'll hook our lines back up. I ain't gonna put the pin back in until uh, 
we started the machine up and verified that we don't have a 20 weight geyser here. All right, we're gonna go for a start. The cylinder's not hooked up. Just wanna see if she's sealed. <laughs> three yards top side and I've been uh, taking this pile pushing it down problem is it's about three feet up in the air so I've just been uh, you know letting my uh, my bucket lip take a few inches here push it over the edge pulling out of my uh, my windrow on the side being careful not to uh, tear up the sidewalls on my tires pushing a little bit of that and bit by bit it's uh it's leveling out i'm gonna prioritize it being level over having the entire length of the drift even just what we have now we're uh about at what we're gonna need for uh, an underground parking area and then what i'll do is uh throw a, a few jugs of atf 1540 and uh tractor fluid down here just so we have uh, nice warm oil that we don't have to go topside to get. Uh, we're not gonna turn it into a full-blown shop. It's just not practical. Uh, we'll keep using the uh, surface shop area, work area for, uh, for actual maintenance, anything beyond topping off fluids. Uh, get back to it and show you what it looks like once it's done. Well, the... Uh Underground parking area is more or less excavated. Found this uh, blast ladder in the muck pile. It's kind of clever. It's got uh, two roof bolt plates welded onto the sides, so you could uh, bolt the thing into the rib. I'll say if you were uh, driving a raise, it'd be a good use, for, good place to use it. 911's here, and here we got. Is this probably 10 feet of side clearance? And as I continue to work on this a little bit, uh, we may, I don't think we would shoot that pillar, although it would be, uh, it'd be worth sampling and assaying it, because that would be uh, nice. As you can see, we're starting to get uh, 
rhyolite xenoliths mixed in with the uh, vein material here. And it gets even worse at the, the face of the drift right there. But I wouldn't mind sampling this pillar. Uh, because if it runs, we can shoot it out and have uh, have a double wide. We need to put in some bacon strips there to support the back, but it would definitely be nice. Probably we'll uh, end up throwing uh, some barrels of hydraulic, engine oil, ATF, whatnot, in this little cubby hole. We've got the, the mucker oriented with the, the battery a little bit more accessible. Battery's disconnected, I haven't put a master switch on it yet. Because it likes to, uh, to drain batteries. We've got probably 40 feet of space in here to park the Young Buggy and the Kubota side-by-side, -side, which will be very, very nice. The reason that I took the 911 up in here rather than trying to muck at the face, this level has uh, never, ever even attempted to have any water intrusion and until the uh, the hillbilly repair on the steering cylinder had been uh, properly vetted and tested with uh, quite a few steering cycles I was not comfortable running it on a level where it could potentially blow out again and uh, put us in the same position of the machine wanting to uh, play submarine that's why we tested it up here because if it blew out in here you know we've got a uh, good dry working environment don't have to worry about uh, trying to emergency evacuate the machine while it's spraying hydraulic fluid everywhere it's never a good time so with that we've got our uh, underground parking and oil storage area cleared we've got the LHD back in action we're ready to start driving drift again it's been Porter 1119 with Head Frame Hunters thank you all very much for watching guys adios